I've landed in Bali and guess how long it took me? Three minutes from my house, which is literally over there. And this homestay was steps away and I didn't know about it. Sometimes the little gems are closer to home than you think and you don't have to do the mileage. I've had a quick peek round, but come with me and I'm gonna show you around this place. The whole feature is to do with Bali, hence why I picked the flower. In fact, they've actually got a drawer where you can put Bali clothes on. Am I saying that right? Bali, Balean clothing. Um, let's do the, oh God, shall I do the outside or should I do the, in, the mm, uh, okay, let's go outside first, okay? Because there's so much to see in the inside. So outside, it's not overlooked at all. You drive in here and you feel like you've entered another place, another country, in fact, and it's just beautifully set with all of these flowers and trees and shrubs, and then you get this. Now, please pay close attention to the detail. Look at this. You step up into this here, and I've got a feeling there's probably a switch for that there as well, because he's got nothing but water features. Let me tell you, right, there are so many ideas in this place for you to take away if you fancy doing something in your own home, even in a little corner of your place that you want to give that barley feel to. So watch out, there's so many ideas. So this is the outdoor kitchen and it's surrounded by this koi pond, water feature. Outdoor eating, the furniture is gonna shock you. They have got so many different pieces and they're so unique, it's not standard. This house is by far standard. Even down to like, look, the little bit of detail he's put here, everything is high end. Plenty of cutlery plenty of teas and coffees. He's got music, note. The minute you walk in, it is on. He's thought about the sound, the smell, and just the ambience of the whole place. You will feel like you are in a different place. I walked in and I was, I was astonished. So you've got your cooking outside, your fridge outside, eating space, high chairs, extra chairs. What more could you ask for? Now look at this now. He's actually put so much in such a small space. T just just look at that. Look at that feature right there for you to sit in. What does it remind you of? You can add this so easily to your homes, even in the UK. This place has given me so many ideas for what to do in my house. I, re I suppose that's the back door, but look at how it's done. You know the simplest things that you can do in your home to make them beautiful. Now, if you didn't know already, okay, I was in real estate in the UK and I haven't found a house like it like the houses that I'm finding here, the ideas and how they actually get all of this crafted. Look over there, look at the top of the roof. Look, Hera's already settled in her element. The back door, right, you've seen these, They're that, that, that wooden feature. This was a modern house. If you look at the rest of the street, you think, how? And I, the first thing I said to him, who did it? Who did all of this? And he did it himself. I'm gonna show you one of the best bits on the outside. You've seen the kitchen, come through here with me. Look at this. It's all stepped up and down. You've got this fabulous place to sit out in. You've got that lovely seating there. He's got extras. Oh, and by the way, <clears throat> this is so close to where I live. And I tell you the azans in the morning. Just something to add a feature. Music was never my forte. I always wanted to learn how to play the piano, but I'm not sure I can do the whole two different things. But this setting, stunning, stunning. Let's go on, let's go on. Look, look, look. That. And guess what? It's not overlooked. Can you hear the recitations? It's Zohar time. The mosques, there's several of them. When I wake up in the morning, and the Fajr Azan goes. There's several mosques in this area. Some people that appeal to, obviously some people that aren't Muslim, it won't. However, I can tell you, even if you're not, the relaxation, the motive, the feeling that you get from it. So anyhow, look at this, right? He's, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna have to go all the way over there to push the button. So you've got this button here, which controls the water feature there. Okay, right, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Just pray I don't fall in, please. <laughs> I nearly went in. So you've got the hot, not hot tub, sorry. I call it the hot tub, jacuzzi. Although the water warms up beautifully when the pool's outdoors. Look around you, you are not overlooked. Isn't that just amazing? So then 
little bit of loungy area. They've got everything here. You will need to bring nothing. You will need to bring literally a bag with like overnight clothing if you're going to go for one night, um, if you're going to go for more. FYI, weekdays is about £350 a night and then weekends goes up to 400 and something, which when you see the number of people it sleeps, shared between you is peanuts compared to hotels when you can have all of this private. Let me just check the temperature. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can't wait to get in. Right, but cameraman's told me off. He said I've got to speed things up. So I'm going to whiz round and show you this, but I'm going to do a full detailed video on YouTube because this place justifies it. So you've got another seating area there. You've got an outdoor hot tub with a shower, which is awesome. Let us go inside. If you want a barbecue, the barbecue is already here and no doubt, yes, it's nice and clean. So you walk through here. Let me take you inside now because um, I'm on a timer. So we're gonna whiz round, but you will not appreciate. So like cameraman, just focus on me and just the distance. We'll do the detailed stuff for YouTube. Walking in, music, fragrance, food. They do food. They do food. They do food and they do massage. I'm going nowhere. I've already put my order in for somebody to come and give me a home massage. This is especially for you that want privacy. So you've got that little patch of area there to sit. You've got the lounge area there on your left. You've got further space. Now, reminder, the kitchen's outdoors. Okay, the kitchen's outdoors. Dining space leading to the pool. Let me show you around here quick because he's going to be on my case. Loads of different pieces. Oh, this is a really cool bedroom. This is where I'm sleeping. <coughs> so you've got the bedroom, nice big bed. Bedding is amazing. The bed itself is great. Come on, let's turn the bathroom lights on. Where's the lighting? There. Look at this bathroom. All glass. The little features that he's put in there. Look at the basins. I'm going to do a full detailed one on YouTube, guys, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, and then this but Every single bathroom has got something about it. I was shocked. Come on, cameraman. Don't take too long. Let's go upstairs. Now the warmth begins because they put a wooden staircase. Even the detail on the landing. Look at the lighting. Look at all of these little baskets. Complete feel like you are in Bali. I've never been to Bali, but now I know what it feels like because that was what he wanted to achieve. Coming in here, you've got a further two beds here. We won't go into too much. Come on, come on. Look at the bathroom. There's a bathroom. Look at the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. They're all awesome. Look at the top of the sink and how they've just given you that feeling and the flooring. It's not standard. None of it is standard. Right, let's have a look at this one. Again, beautiful bedroom. Oh, he's winding me. He's winding me. And, oh, yeah, this is nice. Nice, nice. Lots of decor around little ornaments and the wood and the warmth and the rugs and the quality bedding, literally. But I'm, I'm going to save that one because that's the last one. That is actually the master. I thought downstairs was. And then Hira came upstairs and she owned the room. So you've got this one. So, I, I mean, how many are we sleeping now? Two downstairs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Downstairs, twelve. You can sleep twelve. So this is not even the master, but look at the bathroom. You've got to look at the bathroom. Like everyone's going to have an experience. It's not just going to be the one room. Everyone can have it. Look, you've got the two basins. Just it's all that little detail. Big mirrors. Look at the ceilings. And then you have this. Wow. Again, I'm going to go into detail on what Hay has done to add to this place to make it that much more desirable, a desirable place to stay. Little flowers on the floor, tiling, but made to look like wood. Right, come with me into the bedroom. I've got 40 seconds to show you this one. Look at this. This is, I would say, the master. I don't even know what to say is the master. Quick, quick, into the bathroom. This is your shower area, screened off, full tub. Bring your bath bombs. And that's the bathroom area. And look at this basin. Have I covered everything off? I think I have, right? So that's it. I think I started off a bit slow, and then he told me. Right, okay. That's it. This place is in Klebang. It's five minutes from the beach. There's food. There's everything around you. But why would you want to leave your home? This is the place to stay. If you want to stay inside, enjoy the environment, enjoy the weather, and get the facilities on your doorstep at home.